O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O praise of all things given, be ever in all and dying. O sacrament divine, O praise of all things given, be ever in all and dying. Good morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace, peace, and joy of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. We gather around the altar with a grateful heart today for the new day that God gives us. It's another opportunity to grow into his love, to serve him in our brothers and sisters we may encounter today. And for the times that perhaps we were not appreciative of these opportunities coming our way, we ask for forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses was tending the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian. Leading the flock across the desert, he came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There an angel of the Lord appeared to him in fire, flaming out of a bush. As he looked on, he was surprised to see that the bush, though on fire, was not consumed. So Moses decided, I must go over to look at this remarkable sight and see why the bush is not burned. When the Lord saw him coming over to look at it more closely, 
God called out to him from the bush, Moses, Moses. He answered, here I am. God said, come no nearer. Remove the sandals from your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. I am the God of your father, he continued, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. The cry of the children of Israel has reached me, and I have truly noted that the Egyptians are oppressing them. Come now, I will send you to Pharaoh to lead my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and lead the children of Israel out of Egypt? He answered, I will be with you, and this shall be your proof that it is I who have sent you. When you bring my people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this very mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord. Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord secures justice and the rights of all the oppressed. He has made known his way to Moses and his deeds to the children of Israel. The Lord is kind and merciful. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to the little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have given these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. What would you do if, as you are walking on the street, you hear someone calling you? You turn around, I guess, and see who it is. But if the voice is not familiar, and he calls you by name. Would you be scared? 
I don't know how I would react. It's something unexpected. Think of Moses. Moses, Moses. And he simply says, here I am. Don't come any nearer. Because the ground you are walking on is holy. So think about it. The way God goes about to grab the attention of Moses. A bush that is burning, but it's not consuming itself. So it uses the curiosity of a human being to draw his attention to him for something that is happening, something unusual. And then, out of that fire, a voice. Perhaps I would have run far away as fast as I could. Think of hearing your name. How is God dealing with us today? I haven't seen any fire burning without being consumed. So it didn't catch my attention or my curiosity. I saw plenty of fires, but the normal thing. But this was unusual. This was God's fire. In that fire, there was God himself speaking. How does God come come to me? How does he come to you? Does he ever speak to you? Times I wonder. I never heard his voice. But then again, do I quiet myself enough to hear his voice? There is so much noise around us, isn't it? At times we need to go in a room, close everything, because there are so many distractions that takes us away from even seeing the burning bush. And don't expect to see the fire, of course. But how is God coming to me? Wouldn't it be interesting to go around and, and ask, how do you recognize the God is coming to you or speaking to you because it does speak to us. And because we are who we are, if we hear something we like, we are open to it. If he, if he challenges us on something that we are not willing to concede or give, then we try to ignore him as much as we can and for as long as we can. That's human nature, isn't it? Try to think of something that perhaps God has been after you for and you have given in yet. I can think of a situation where in a family, 
two family members don't talk to each other. Something happened, and that the relationship was broken. And the Lord, at a certain moment, begins to go after at least one, inviting, urging, telling, why don't you reconcile? And most probably, at least my first reaction would be, why don't you tell my brother there He's the one who caused the problem. Was he? Why don't I take a closer look at myself? And even in the event that it is my brother who caused the problem, Why shouldn't I take the first step? That's what Jesus teaches us in the gospel. We are quick to justify ourselves. And we are quick in accusing someone else. It's just a human nature. How attentive am I to God's voice? And I repeat, it does speak to us. But I need to have quiet in my heart so I can hear his voice. It doesn't make a lot of noise, but he can be persistent. Why don't we take some time today and ask ourselves, how attentive am I to God's voice? I am quickly uh, quick to tell God what I need, what I want, but why am I not just as quick to tune in, to listen to what God wants from me. Give me, give me. That's our human nature. How open am I to give to God and how attentive am I to listen to what he wants. Then the question, it is his fault or her fault, doesn't even come in. Jesus came into the world to look for sinners. And look whom he found. Right here, perhaps I am the biggest sinner here. And he bent down to heal my wounds. That's Christ's attitude. How do I deal with my brothers and sisters? Am I quick to point a finger? Or do I dare to open my heart and take the first step? If nothing else, see how my brother and sister react to my going over. Curiosity. As we go through the day, Why don't we make our prayer, Lord Jesus, 
tell me what you want from me. What you want from me, not vice versa. He knows it already. We need to know what he wants from us. God bless you. Recognizing our littleness, we turn to God in prayer. For all members of the church, may God enable us to manifest his kingdom by our actions and by our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For elected and community leaders, may the Lord grant them perfect vision in recognizing the needs of those they serve, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer at the hands of others due to violence, neglect, or oppression, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community gathered here, may the mercy of God fill our hearts and empower us in mercy towards others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they soon rest in the eternal peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate, and single life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer for those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life from conception to natural death, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those remembered in our prayer petition thank you book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Paul, the soul of Pauline Newman, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And we make all of these prayers in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread and wine we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. They will become for us the bread of life and our spiritual drink.
Sisters and brothers, let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the offerings of the Church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and the Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Bishop, the clergy, and all of your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. John the Evangelist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray together for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And give us nothing to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith, hope, and love of your church, and graciously grant to her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we, invited to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only say, and my soul shall be here.
Let us play. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O oh Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This celebration is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a fantastic day. And let us pray together the prayer of to St. Michael the Archangel. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment time. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment time.